Welcome to the guard realm. <laughs> That's right. Mine ascension here. And um, I'm back. I'm back to close everything down, shut everything down. Jada Tyler, 27 equals to the 9 completion. Disbeliever flies. Peace, peace, peace. Wendy Faze Canvas. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Peace. Rob Vegan, 313. We getting some sevens and some nines in here. I like that. Mentu Hotep, peace, peace to the gods, peace to the creatresses, peace to the earth. You dig what I'm saying? Peace to our neighborhood, the solar system and galaxy. You dig? Peace. Um, basically, y'all. I want to hurry up and um, wrap this whole homosexual aspect up. Um, it's the last day of um, almighty international Amsterdam ass nigga was popping God. Um, I want to hurry up and wrap this whole thing up. It's the last day. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh. Is it the triple black mother up in here tonight? You know who I'm talking to. Is it the triple? Is it the triple decker? I I don't know that. Anyway, um, I want to wrap this up tonight. Um, it's the last day of so-called um, straight black pride month. So I want to bring everything to a closing right now, and um, I want to make this real quick because you know we got an hour. You know how I do. I get up on here. That hour turns into five minutes. You know what I'm saying? It's like next thing you know, the hour's wrapped up. So um, I just want to continue from where I left off at with the last video. I was starting, excuse me, I went from, I already broke down the aspect of our original um, indigenous mythology, breaking down how the mother was the first one on this plane. Okay, all right. Anyway, how the, um, the mother was the first one on this plane giving birth to sets of twins, eight sets to be exact. Now, this is in the Ifa system or the Aruba mythology as well. And um, also, I also got into the um, signs and symbols of primordial um, origin. Signs and symbols of primordial man, excuse me, excuse me. And breaking down the fact that in totemic societies or totemic dynasties, which are pre-dynastic, um, the woman was the head of the clan, and therefore all people of that clan were under one mother, okay, and how the sisterhood, brotherhood, and fatherhood came after the mother, all right? Now, I broke all of that down basically just to solidify the fact that we are not fucking equal. Get over that shit. Please get over that shit. I don't even think I have to speak to the men about this because men already know, you know what I'm saying? You get into a domestic dispute with your girl, wifey, baby mom, whatever the hell you want to call her, she call the police, Yo ass is scared of going to jail. She not really scared of going to jail. Now, don't get me wrong. Today, they'll take both y'all ass to jail. I know that. But I'm just saying, let's be honest here and let's stop reaching for exceptions. Please, when you get up in this guard round, when you see this face, you win the guard round. We don't reach for exceptions over here. All right? We don't look for the small minority in the sea of majority. We don't do that to try to dismiss or justify what feels comfortable to us. So let's not reach for exceptions when we reach this guard realm and this level that we at right here. Use an intelligence observation. You understand? Um, let's jump right into it. I want to start off where I left off the other day. Now, understand that the seven laws is what we acknowledge as gods and divine beings. I'm, when I speak to you, I'm speaking to you from a source over surface perspective. I hear a lot of these other brothers and sisters, no disrespect to them, much love to them. All that good stuff, but everybody's talking from a, sur a surface perspective. They talking what's right and wrong in 2018, what's right and wrong or what's good or bad in 2018. You see what I'm saying? But we're not going to the surface. The surface is the seven universal laws. Two of those universal laws is polarity and gender. Let's go into polarity just like we left off before. 
According to foundations of African thought, the ancient Africans believed the world to be founded upon contradictions, and this belief was expressed in the form of principle of doctrine of opposites. The principle, probably the most visible, most employed, and most widely known of the seven, continues as the basis of many African societies, including the Dogon, Mali, Fon, um, Babara, and Eastern Guinea. Ancient Ifa of West Africa, the Ifa employ that law today in the form of an oracle known as Ifa. They profess the genesis of the Ifa system of 20,000 years. So this Ifa system goes back 20,000 years, all right? I already broke that down a little while ago last video. Let's get let's get to the meat. Ancient and contemporary African cultures hold polarity paramount in the formation and maintenance of creation. Let's read that one more time. Ancient and contemporary. That means way back then and today. Ancient and contemporary African cultures hold polarity paramount. Y'all know what paramount means, right? I know you see the studios when you watch movies. Paramount, paramount pictures. You see what I'm saying? Paramount in the formation, the formation, the formation and maintenance of creation and universal order. I don't know if y'all know how deep that line is right there, but that is a very powerful line. What they're saying is polarity and the complementary energy is not only the creation of all existence. Not only the foundation of all existence, but what keeps all existence together. Are you watching my motion? My motion ain't this. That's stagnation. All right. That's equality. We don't want that. We want complementary, which goes like this. It's a yin and yang. It's a give and take. It's a constant movement that never stops. You see, it's a coalescence. You understand what I'm saying? Let's get into the science. Nigerian-born Dr. C. Kamalu, excuse me if I'm mispronouncing, defined life itself as the, with the duality of being and becoming, duality, duality. How many times y'all see me write duality? The duality of being and becoming. Do you understand what equality destroys? Equality destroys duality, man. Because if I'm equal to you, then we're one and the same. And therefore, there's no more two. There's now one, which eliminates duality. Wake the fuck up. Stop listening to this feminist slash uh, 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 politically correct, modern, whatever the hell y'all want to call it today. Bullshit. Because anything that's equal to something else ceases to be itself. Let me say that again. Anything equal to something else ceases to be itself. I am man because I am not equal to woman. That's what gives me existence. That's what gives me purpose is the fact I'm not equal to you. If I was equal to you, I wouldn't exist. Hello? Am I making sense here? Anyway. Defined as duality of being and becoming, the being, the existence, the presence, and the becoming, the transition, the transformation. The, then we're going back to this. That's the convict, that's the constant moving. See, equality is just this. It's just being, it's just there. But the becoming is what starts the movement. Please, let's wake the fuck up. Which gives rise, rise to change and motion. The life force is also organizing power, bringing order to the primeval chaos. Let's say that one because I know y'all hear me say that all the time. I know y'all hear me say that all the time. And I know I'm losing a lot of y'all, but that's fine because this is only for the handful. This ain't for most of y'all. So that's all right. Gives rise, okay? So basically, these opposite energies, these complementary energies, give rise to change. 
give rise to motion, to movement, to life, to sparks of creation, to energy, to magnetic, to electric, to all dif- to organ, to all different forms, okay? The life force is also organizing power, bringing order to the primeval chaos. This organizing power, this force of life in motion is sometimes described as the first created. Now, I don't know if y'all listen to my videos, but I speak of the first thing if we want to count it as the first thing or if we want to go into a form of chronology of existence. The all had to negate upon itself. Once the all, or who you want to call God and Allah, whatever the fuck you want to call it, no, our ancestors call it the all. I got it on my chest. Our ancestors call it the all. The all negated upon itself. It separated from itself in order to see itself, in order to know itself, in order to be itself. When it did that, okay, it created the first form of duality. It created the first form of of what we call gender and what we call polarity. Then after that, all other things in all existence came into creation. Atoms, uh, excuse me, atoms, protons, neutrons, or electrons, all the other things that we see that make up the matter itself came into existence after that negation of the all, creating duality, creating gender. Now, I hope I'm not moving too fast for y'all or whatever the case may be, but we we don't got a lot of time and I'm going to break this shit the fuck down. All right. Now, let's just jump. Now, this is polarity, by the way. We ain't even get to gender yet. <laughs> this is polarity. This ain't even gender. Now, polarity and gender go hand in hand. Let's go to gender real quick. Let's go to gender. Y'all ready? The principle of gender. Gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principle. Gender manifests on all planes. The Kabbalion. It has been said, the union of man and woman is like the mating of heaven and earth. Can I say that one more time? It has been said that the union of man and woman, not dick and dick, not clit and clit, not dildo to butthole, not anything else your motherfucking ass think you doing somewhere else. The union of man and woman is like the mating of heaven and earth. Take a guess who heaven is. Take a wild guess who heaven is. Take a wild guess. Because heaven is the gateway. You understand? Heaven is where you come from and where you go back to. You understand? The earth is created after heaven. Are y'all listening to me? Heaven and earth ain't created at the same time. Heaven comes first. Earth is created after heaven. Y'all gonna get this. Y'all gonna get this. I don't give a fuck. Y'all keep dropping numbers and shit. Chiming in, going out. I don't give a fuck. Now, it is because of their correct It is because of their correct mating that heaven and earth last forever. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Now, uh, 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 this is what I'm reading right now. I don't know if y'all want to read it with me. Okay, y'all see? Principal agenda. Now, I could sit here and talk the way I talk and break everything down for y'all effortlessly articulately, no problem, but I do this on purpose to get to your subconscious so you don't think I'm just someone here talking nonsense, someone here talking what I believe, what I believe, my opinion, you know how y'all like to do, well that's your opinion, no it's not my opinion, and even if it is my opinion, it's the opinions of millions to billions of ancestors who live millions to billions of years before your ass. So even if you want to call it opinion, call it a divine opinion. 
call it a universal opinion. Because of their correct mating, the heaven and earth last forever. Humans have lost this secret and have therefore become mortal. Are y'all listening to me right now? No, seriously. I'm the one, I'm the crazy guy talking about your divinity. I'm the crazy guy talking about how heterosexuality is divine. I'm the crazy guy talking about how black woman is creatress giving birth to gods, which is man. That's me, the crazy guy. You know, the crazy guy that nobody likes to like his shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to repost his stuff. He's, he's a little out there. No problem. Let's do that one more time. It is because of their correct mating. Let's stress the word correct. What's correct mating, y'all? What, what, what do you think is correct mating? A rabbit with a uh, uh, double D batteries and vibrator? What's correct mating? Huh? What's correct mating? Couple of fingers in you? That's correct mating? That's what that is? What's correct mating? A man's penis in a man's butthole? That's correct mating? What's correct mating? Let's get that out the way. What's correct? Because it says it right here. It says it right here. It says, you find it for you. Right there, it says correct. Correct. It says correct mating. It doesn't just say mating. It, it went, the author of this book went out of their way to use the term correct. Okay? So I doubt they mean man with man. I doubt they mean female with female. Okay? Humans have lost the secret and have therefore become mortal. By knowing it, the path to immorality is opened. Poof, niggas. Welcome to the God realm. Read it yourself. Read it yourself. It is your thinking and your belief that homosexuality, first of all, even the term homosexuality is, is, is completely ridiculous because to put homo with sex is fucking retarded because no two men can have sex and no two women can have sex. So you're already misleading me when you do that homosexuality. That is a, a gigantic, gigantic misleading aspect, misconception, because no one of the same sex has sex. No one of the same sex has intercourse. Can we get that out the way? I dare you to prove me wrong. Show me how you have intercourse with a dildo. Show me how you have intercourse with a goddamn rectum of another male. Show me. No, excuse me. Don't show me. I don't want to see that shit. Don't show me. Don't show me. Oh, Lord. You know what? I'm not even going to... Principle which I constantly is there any influence each plane and feel important to clarify my usage of terms of being in the law. My usage of terms of being in the law. My usage of terms of being in the law. My usage of terms of being in the law. My usage of terms of Now that I got the basis out the way, okay, I, I took y'all back 20,000, 30,000 years with the totemic societies. I took y'all back to Central, South, and West African mythology. Okay, now let's go to, to some direct science, direct science now. Let's go to that. All right. Let's get this out of here. Must have ancient future. This is a must have. This is one of this is one of my I've read hundreds of books. This is in my top 20, top 20, top 15, ancient future, must have. If you ain't got this, you not studying. Let's go to some science. Because we love science, right? Especially white science, don't we? Oh, no, wrong book. <laughs> so many books. All right. 
let's go to anatomy and physiology. Okay. Oh yeah, Tahaka baby, Tahaka. Don't get me started. I'm trying to keep this in an hour, y'all. Don't distract me and get me to talk about history and stuff. I'm trying to keep this in the realm of this homosexual sickness so I can knock this out because I don't want this shit cutting up everything in the last hour. So don't distract me because y'all know I could go off on a whole. Don't get me started talking about Tahaka and Pianki and the Nubian pharaohs and bringing back uh, Kemet with Upper Lower and defeating the Hyksos and the uh, Syrians. Don't get me started with that, all right? Um, now... Let's go to some direct glandular science of the human body and anatomy, shall we? The pituitary. Okay. Now, let's get this out the way. White people have believed that the pituitary is the master gland of the body. White people believe this because they have no fucking soul. So since they have no fucking soul, they have no open seat for the soul, which is the pineal gland. So they completely disregard the pineal gland and focus only on the pituitary. So before I start this, let's get this straight. If the pineal gland is the master gland of the human body, That means that it controls and regulates the pituitary, which is its wife, its queen, its polarity. And the pituitary regulates all other glands. So if the pineal, the black man, is removed from the house or the community, what do we have with all the other people in that community and um, glands of that community? Chaos. The pituitary gland has been called the master gland. Is this term justified? Where is the gland located? What does it secrete? The pituitary gland, also known as the hypophysis, lies in a pocket of bone just below the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland is composed of three lobes, each of which is functionality distinct gland. So the pituitary gland basically has multiple sections. Each section of the pituitary gland has a very specific function, okay? That's what we're explaining here. Now, in humans, the intermediate lobe is only rudimentary and function remains unclear. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. In humans, the intermediate lobe is only rudimentary. Rudimentary? Well, what does that mean? Well, when something's rudimentary, that just means it's pretty much damn near calcified. And, you know, it's like it's like iron is a rudimentary metal. You see, it's hard. It's it's unmovable. It doesn't really do much, you know. No, not just unclear to them, sassy negress, but their pituitary is fucked up. That's what they're saying. Their pituitary is fogged up. That's what they're saying in this book right now. Because they're unclear of the main part of the lobe of pituitary, they're letting you know that their pituitary is dysfunction. I showed y'all this a while ago about their dysfunction pituitary and what it does to them. Now, let mind you, this is a white book. It's a white book. White people wrote this book, all right? So I'm just going by what white people are saying to connect the essential topic for tonight, which is homosexuality. It secretes melanocyte. Stimulating hormone. Wait a second. They just told you that certain parts of the lobe of the pituitary, it's unclear what it does. But then now they're going to skip over that and tell you what the rest of it does uh, involving melanocytes. That's interesting. Because, as we should know as scientists, if I take one part of the equation out, do I get the right answer at the end of the equation? No. But that's okay. We're just dealing with soulless people. Let's keep going, huh? 
The anterior lobe is made up of glandular tissue which produces at least six different protein hormones. Evidence suggests that each hormone is secreted by a different cell type. Secretion of each of the six hormones occurs independently of the others. Each hormone reacts independently of other hormones, which, by the way, the pituitary is supposed to be able to control. Ever seen white people? Ah, ah, you know, you know, you know the crazy shit they do. You know, they run their head into wall. They kick each other in the balls. They do real retarded. Don't get me wrong. As niggas following white people, we do dumb shit too. But we don't do the shit they do. Once the hormone secreted by the anterior pituitary is known as thyroid stimulating hormone, which induces secretion of the thyroid hormones from the thyroid gland. The thyroid hormones refer to closely related hormones, thyroxine, the triondyrophane. Okay, I'm, I know I'm hitting y'all with a lot of shit. Stimulates adrenal cortex, okay, or cortisol, okay, adrenal cortex. What are we saying? We're saying that the pituitary, okay, not only is there a part of pituitary that they can't explain, which explains their malfunctions that come very randomly, but there's also a part of the pituitary that controls adrenaline rush, You see when the motherfuckers get all pink and red and shit for no reason? It controls adrenaline rush. So if your pituitary is already malfunctioned, how will that adrenaline rush react during certain circumstances? All right, let's, let's, get, to the, let's get to the main part. Let's get to the main part. So anything going on, no, 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 no. the green pituitary did not affect hormone secretion, but uh, I this is uh, stimulating. No, 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 is actually an outgrowth for them. The posterior lobe of the pituitary is actually an outgrowth of the hypothalamus. It's true neural tissue. The posterior pituitary differs from the anterior pituitary with respect to embryological origin as well as types of hormones secreted. It releases two hormones called oxytocin and vasopressin now we're getting to the meat i know hold on i know we're getting to the meat the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland is actually an outgrowth of the hypothalamus and is true neural tissue the posterior pituitary differs from the anterior pituitary with respect to embryological origin as well as types of hormones secreted it releases two hormones oxytocin and vasopressin now ways back i broke down the hormonal and chemical effect during a woman's time of incubation of a human body in her womb oxytocin is a love hormone you know what they call it they call it the cuddle hormone okay so oxytocin is if you ever know, I don't know, you know, I'm just listen, uh, I'm just speaking observation. Ladies, if you ever notice, depending on your reaction to a man after sex only depends on the levels of pleasure he provides for you. A man can have you be the biggest freak in the world. But once he releases his life force, it's almost like he becomes a different person. But the female or the feminine, on the other hand, actually becomes more connected to the male. Why? Because she's releasing oxytocin in her brain. Remember, you're not equal to me. You don't do the same things as me. You don't have the same reaction as me. My oxytocin was coming during the sex. Your oxytocin comes during and after the sex. This is why if you notice when men bust a nut, we kind of like don't care about shit no more. We don't we don't feel the same way about you. We don't look at you the same. We don't speak the same. And please don't waste your time with exceptions. I'm talking about majority. Once a man has finally achieved his goal, which was to get your pussy, he changes on you. He does. I'm listen, I'm not I'm not saying there's anything good or bad about it. 
I'm just acknowledging and using observation to the fact that that's what men do because we don't have the same chemical compound in our brains as the female does, as the woman does. So we don't have the same reactions. We only have one level of orgasm. Excuse me. To be technical, we have three. But but just to reach that three, we have to go through strenuous, strenuous discipline and exercises. Y'all as women have nine levels of orgasm, man. Y'all have nine levels of orgasm. I'm not going, oh, Lord. You know what? Y'all just reminded me of another book that I should have brought to the, um, okay, maybe I'll do that next time. <laughs> I, I, my library is crazy. I got another book, Joelle Pukram, um, Sexual Energy. She breaks all this down. Anyway, let's keep going, y'all. Oxytocin principally acts to stimulate the emotional aspect of the brain. Now, um, I'm not going to go too much into the rest of this about the hypothalamus, the thyroid gland and all that stuff because I want to really not get caught up in this time aspect. So I gave y'all, I gave y'all the ancient origin. I gave y'all the seven laws. Now let's continue, but I'm not going to continue from this book. I'm going to continue from some notes in an old phone. But the fact of the matter is we're talking about the origin and the creation of homosexuality. Where it comes from, what exactly is it? I already proved that it did not exist in our culture. Nobody has yet DM me showing pictures of black niggas sucking black dick. Yeah, I ain't DM me that yet, and I'm glad you didn't. But the fact of the matter is the point of this entire um, live right now is to prove where this shit develops from, how it develops, and why is it dominant in this current society. Now, I just showed y'all how the pituitary, hypothalamus, and certain aspects coincide with the development of not only the brain and the secretion of chemicals and hormones that most likely affect the child during pregnancy. So when you hear people say, I'm born like this, what I'm telling you is they're not born like that by nature. They're born like that by environment. So I know we got a lot of people out there that disagree with this I'm born gay stuff, but I'm here giving you science and facts. You can be born so-called gay by chemical induction and environment, not by nature. Because if each one of us are eating, living, and thinking in our indigenous mind, we don't give birth to confused children. That's just a fact, okay? So I want to clear that up because a lot of people have a problem when they hear being born gay. A lot of people think that the homosexuality aspect has to deal with being touched and um, being raped and all of this different stuff. Don't get me wrong. That is a, a part of it. But it's not the origin or the source of the source. Remember, you see this face. You dealing with source knowledge. You're not dealing with surface nonsense. All right. Let's continue. Now, mind you, oxytocin is a natural chemical that comes and secreted out the brain during sexual intercourse and orgasm. Oxytocin is a love chemical. They like to call it the cut the, the cuddle hormone, okay? That's just one chemical though. So what I want to do is I want to go into the multi-level chemicals that come from your brain and the body during all different forms of either intercourse, stress, whatever we want to call it. Let's let's go into what a what a hormone is first and foremost. Hormones are chemical messengers. Hormones are chemical messengers used in the body by the endocrine system. They coordinate our organs. Hormones are produced by glands. Pituitary, hypothalamus, pineal. White people don't got a pineal. <laughs> so they already fucked. And you following them. And you have 
killed by Neil. Now that's what a hormone is. A hormone, a hormone is a chemical messenger. So if a hormone is a chemical messenger, is it safe to say that outside chemicals or environment can affect the hormones internally of a woman during her pregnancy? I think it's safe to say that. Let's continue. Now, I want to show y'all this. I don't know if y'all can see it. Sex hormones release process. What this is basically explaining is that the brain and the reproductive system is in a cyclic aspect. Meaning what? Meaning what you secrete from your brain, ladies. And by the way, this goes into microchermism as well. Because if you notice, I broke down microchermism a while ago, explaining how the absorption of the male DNA and sperm gets stored directly into the female brain. Because the brain and the reproductive system are in a form of alignment. Why? Because the brain has to send signals to the male reproductive system to arouse itself and the female reproductive system to lubricate itself. So they must be connected. The brain is connected to the whole body, but it's a more direct connection to the root chakra and to the primeval aspect of the body. Because remember, the brain is not the mind. God realm, God realm, the brain is not the mind. The brain is the rudimentary, primordial, animalistic, basic, logical, mechanical aspect of the body. The brain is not the mind, it's localized. The mind is omniversal. Whole nother class. Let's keep going, y'all. Hormones released during trauma. Now, when we come across these studies and these sciences, speaking of hormones released during trauma, we must also understand that trauma has a polarity. Just like ecstasy, just like euphoria, they all have polarities. So when I say these are the hormones released during trauma, what is it safe to say? Is it safe that half of those, if not the opposite of those hormones, are released during ecstasy or released during pleasure or released during so-called orgasm or climax, which are two different things. I'll go into that later. The first one, cataclysma means I, I'm not even going to try to pretend like I know what the fuck how to say that shit. The first one is adrenaline. Now, see, it's so funny how they keep talking about adrenaline, right? Because brothers <laughs> and ladies, I'm talking to both of y'all, but brothers, I have to say this because I'm a man. You ever notice how strong a woman get when she orgasms? <laughs> I mean, she locks up. I mean, she's so fucking powerful. When a woman orgasms, she can throw you across the fucking room. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Am I lying? Am I lying? Some of y'all ain't even reached the certain levels I'm talking about. So y'all might not have a clue. But it's funny how the first hormone they state in this is adrenaline. Adrenaline. Adrenaline is an aggressive hormone. Adrenaline is a bottom chakra hormone. All right. Let's go to cortisol affects the amount of energy the body has to its reaction. Fight or flight opiates. Now, see, this is another thing we need to understand. Your body already has the drugs in it that they're trying to sell you. Your body already has the drugs in it that they want to addict you to. Your body already has the stimulants and vitamins in it that you think your dumb ass is getting from food. What did I say? Your body already has the vitamins and stimulants in it that you think your dumb ass is getting from food. You don't need fucking food. 
It's an illusion. Whole nother class. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Opiates and oxytocin. Oxytocin increases everything we need. Oxytocin increases positive feelings to counteract physical pain that may accompany emotional pain. So oxytocin is an immediate increase of positive feeling, of pleasure, and all of this different stuff, okay? And that's why, if you notice, after a woman has a form of orgasm, she almost becomes more connected to you. But we got to remember, fellas, you got to remember, you're a mechanical, you're a tool. You're never going to feel what she feels, but you have to understand that she's feeling that and don't disregard that. Don't disregard it. Don't change up so quickly because you got the pussy, you dumb motherfucker. Stop doing that shit. Respect her nature as woman because let's be honest, brothers, it is our misunderstanding of her nature and our own that causes women to leave one side to another. Every time I talk to a woman that claims that she's gay or whatever the fuck she's claiming that she is on a fucking Wednesday or whatever the fuck, it's the same shit. I feel safe. I feel safer. I feel safer around women. Women are safe. What the fuck does that even fucking mean? Because your grandmother used to look for men to make them feel secure. So what are you really talking about? You're talking about us dumbass men. Because don't get me wrong. We dumb as hell, man. We stupid. We're fucked up. Us dumbass men not understanding that after I take your body, which usually comes only after your mind, depending on the type of woman you are. Because some of y'all women only give y'all body after you give your mind. Whole nother class. Some of y'all give y'all body and don't even know what your mind is. Whole nother class. And men don't understand the difference. So as soon as we release that life force that we're really not supposed to release, by the way, we automatically start to reject you and start to treat you a certain way because that oxytocin is gone. But the oxytocin has enhanced in you as a woman, as a woman, after you experience the multiple levels of that pleasurable counter intercourse and complementary energy. Your levels of oxytocin raise, so you become more connected to the man. You actually fall in love with him at that moment and can't explain it. And we have the nerve to call you fucking crazy. Are we fucking retarded or what? We are retarded. We got the nerve to call you crazy for feeling what you're supposed to feel as a woman. Yes, men, we fucking retarded now. And women, y'all don't make it no better. You feel safer with women, you just said, explain some. It yourself. Yes. And listen, I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I feel safe around pussy too. <laughs> pussy is never a threat to me. <laughs> that motherfucker can't do shit but get eaten and get beaten. So pussy ain't never a threat to me. So I completely understand you, my dyke sisters, my lesbianos, and whatever the hell y'all ass is. Whatever y'all call yourself this week, you know, because there are 76 genders, right? Anyway, let's keep going. Sex hormones. Oxytocin is released during sex. This hormone makes us more trusting. <laughs> Oxytocin is a hormone that makes you more trusting. He hurt me. Niggas ain't shit. I can't trust them. He broke my heart. No, he didn't. You knew he was a dumbass jackass nigga when you gave him the pussy. Don't front like you didn't know that. You just didn't expect him to take you to the level he took you physically. And now... The oxytocin that came from your own brain caused you to trust him more than you trusted him when you gave him the pussy. Am I lying? Now you feel hurt because you put more trust in this man after he proved himself physically capable of pleasing you 
But wait a second. Now he feels like you ain't shit. And now you have gained more trust from with him and for him after he made you feel like you ain't shit. That's fucked up. It's messed up. Yes, it is. But we're not the same. We're not equal. We don't do this. We do this. You explain it, then you get weird when a woman says the same thing you said about me. Because you can say the same thing because we're not the same. Duh. Get weird or get real. We're not the same. Stop giving me the same explanation, the same results, and the same nonsense because we're not the fucking same. We're not. You can call it whatever you want. Um, eight, Seki, God. Why can't y'all have names that, like, mine ascension? Mine ascension is pretty easy. I want to be respectful and, pronoun- and pronounce y'all names correctly. Eight, Seki, Goddess, eight. We're not the same. My reaction will never be your reaction. My response will never be your response. My feeling will never be your feeling. But what I must learn to do is respect. Respect your nature. That's what I must do. I must respect your nature as woman. And I must do my job to complement your needs and your nature. I'm not here to feel the same way about the Pokemon phone case that you do. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not here to feel the same way about the bunny ears and the goddamn filters and shit y'all love to death. I don't give a fuck about that. Don't get mad at me for not feeling the way you feel. I'm not here to feel the way you feel. But I am here to respect what you feel. Milano's 22,000%. Men are stuck in the physical realm. This is why men need women. Men need women because without women, we cannot reach divinity. Let me say that better. Without the feminine energy, we cannot reach divinity. So Milano's 22, you are a thousand percent right. Men are physical. Women, stop expecting emotional reaction and emotional response that you feel is right from a man. He's not going to give you that if he's a real man, by the way, you need to you need to look at the shit as a flag. If the niggas responded to you the same way you would respond, that's a red flag, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. If he doing this way, you see a baby. Ooh, oh, my God. That's so cute. That's a fucking flag. God damn it. He's supposed to say, yeah, oh, that's a nice baby. Can we go and hurry up and get these shoes that we supposed to get? A man is logical. That's what makes him your compliment, not because he's the same as you. If he's the same as you, you have stagnant energy that moves nowhere and makes no creation. Let's continue. So we're dealing with the science and we're dealing with the glands right now. Okay. Sex hormones released by gonads. All right. All right. Now understand Each gland in your body releases hormones. What did we just say hormones are? Hormones are a form of chemical. Now, I'm working my way up to my main point. Androgens, testosterone, estrogens, estradiol. Adult testes tend to release more androgens, and ovaries tend to release more estrogens. Progestins, also present in both sexes. Progesterone prepares uterus and breast for pregnancy. Adrenal cortex also releases sex hormones. So what are we saying? As the male and female, as the masculine and feminine, we possess different hormones, but one hormone that we both have in common is progesterone. Progesterone is the androgenin hormone that creates the balance between the two hormones. So your progesterone is what makes you balanced, okay? Because once again, nothing is 100%. I'm not 100% man. Oh, I talk my macho shit. I talk my masculine shit. But you think I don't know that I got 20% of my mama in me? Hell yeah, I know. You think I don't know that I have the feminine energy inside of me is what makes me God? 
Hell yeah, I know. Guess what else I know? That shit is not supposed to dominate my masculine energy. It's not. And vice versa. All right? Let's keep going. Oh, shit. I didn't put that down there. Let me see where I got. I know I got that. I know I got that. I wanted to give y'all that list, boy. It was a nice long list of all these damn, um, I think I got it in this phone, no. But anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going, y'all. Ah, let's bring the scholarship. The homosexual plague and food. Okay. The homosexual disease is deliberately forced upon Africans by the junk food industry. Homosexuality is an epidemic and plague level in African communities. Homosexuality is normal for the nature of the Caucasian. But a disease by African standards. Homosexuality and rap music are not an accepted part of hip hop. African culture. This plague is used to maintain male slash female problems. Spiritual sabotage, conflicts, divorces, single parents, single parents, sexually confused children, sexually confused children, and to destroy African people. The junk food industry is the main creator and promoter of homosexual plague. The junk food industry in cycles, sexual packaging, sexual food shapes, hidden images, subliminal sexual intercourse with animals, homosexuals, and children, suggestive images of masturbation and oral sex eat erogenous body areas and embedded sex curse words in advertisement. I want to get y'all straight to the uh, the synthetic the synthetic chemicals and sex hormones in the foods stimulate the sex organs, body and mind. One more time, the synthetic chemicals and sex hormones in foods stimulate the sex organs, body and mind. This causes stimulating biochemical addicting foods to be associated with stimulating sex. In other words, the African becomes chemically addicted to sex. The synthetic junk foods can cause the corpus colostrum. Listen clearly. The synthetic junk foods can cause the corpus, C-O-R-P-U-S, colostrum, C-O-L-S-T-R-U-M is the midbrain to malfunction and degenerate. Homosexuality in jail and prisons is the same shit. Miss uh, Seki, Goddess 8, whatever the fuck it is. It's the same shit. I don't need to talk about it, the sex in prison and stuff. It's not like make it right or wrong. It's the same sick ass fucked up shit. <laughs> I know you on a team, but goddamn, I mean, it's the same sickness. Any man, first of all, brothers, I don't see no brothers in here. Can any brother tell me what it would take to make him suck a dick? Can any brother tell me what it would take? Because I'll tell you right now, you could blow my brains poof the fuck out. <laughs> Happily, I'll be smiling while my brains are shooting across the fucking room. You see what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, you, you, you bringing up jail or any institution, by the way, that promotes homosexuality because... I can go into this a whole nother level. Now we go into other things because in the jail institution, they actually promote homosexuality. They, they give out condoms. They promote clean homosexual sex, whatever the hell it, it might be. All right. But at the end of the day, they promote homosexuality in jail. So, you know, I don't understand what the point of that was bringing that up. But niggas in jail, that's fucking niggas. It's just as faggoty as niggas on the street fucking niggas. I don't see the difference. Sorry. Same way I don't see the difference between a bisexual man and a fucking faggot. Y'all both faggots to me. Sorry. I know I'm supposed to be politically correct and all of this shit that y'all created. 
to dismiss and justify certain aspects, but a faggot is a faggot, period. I don't give a fuck how much pussy the nigga get. Once he takes his first dick, he's a faggot for life. And why? Because man is one directional. You keep talking about all these points, but I'm, I'm maybe, maybe someone else can see where you're going with the points. I don't see the points because we're talking about source aspect. We're not talking about surface. Okay, never mind then. We're talking about source aspect. We're not talking about surface. Okay. Now I'm going into glandular. I'm going into chemical. I'm going into hormone. I went into um, mythology. I went into ancient times I, i'm going into stuff that's beyond 2018 okay so you know i'm just saying you can go in circles with the surface all day but when we start dealing with source now all of a sudden people disappear or they want to bring up the surface jail today is the surface by the way since we're on the jail topic show me one ancient prison or ancient jail in any indigenous culture Pre-colonial, by the way. I'll wait. Now, let's keep going. The synthetic junk foods can cause the corpus colostrum, midbrain to malfunction and degenerate. This denatures and perverts the biochemical ability to harmonize. Ah! Harmonize. Harmonize is nothing but another word for complementary or balance. It's just another word for complementary or balance. Harmonize the left brain, masculine, male principle. I don't know if y'all can see this stuff, but I, I just want y'all to know I'm not just saying this stuff. The only reason why I'm even bothering with books and stuff is I want y'all to not have the ability or the um the incentive to dismiss what I'm saying because you think it's my opinion because you think it's coming just straight from me that's the only reason why I'm going through all these different books so I can show you different aspects that's beyond YouTube that's beyond all of this other stuff harmonize the left brain male principle and the right brain Female principle. Nutricide. Anatomy and physiology. Ancient future. Signs and symbols of primordial man. No excuse. Oh, 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 yeah. African holistic health. Okay. Now, I broke down numerous times. The left brain is masculine. The right brain is feminine. Now, I notice some of us seem to misunderstand that when I say feminine or masculine, you think I'm referring to whether it's gay or straight. I was talking to somebody recently, and because I said something was feminine, they just automatically assume I thought it was gay. Gay is a man fucking a man. Okay? I have feminine tendencies. I know that. <laughs> Here's the trick to make sure my masculine tendencies dominate my feminine tendencies to bring me into complementary balance. I'm not retarded. I know I have feminine tendencies. I know I have a feminine energy inside me. But I know that as my design denotes my function, I must understand that by my an anatomical design, neurological design, biological design, I cannot allow the feminine 
to Dom. Okay, y'all, we wrapping it up. They they count me down right now. Listen, point of the matter is homosexuality is not normal in any way, shape, or form. Homosexuality is a direct result of recessive disease, chemical imbalance in the brain, pituitary dysfunction, all types of shit. So let's get it. Let's let's get it straight here. All right. <laughs> 